Each year, the best galleries and museums in America score online images in 50 categories to decide the best painters, sculptors, photographers, and digital artists in the world. In 2018, artists from 59 countries competed. Hey there, I'm Tom Beards, president of the American Art Awards, also a painter. I love art and I'm so excited because I get to bring you the best art in the world. All right, category 29, political commentary. I think some of the best work is always in this category. Not only do we have incredible styles and styles meshing, but um, brilliant concepts and brain power at work. First place goes to D. McGarren Flack from America for Overdose. And we have winners all over the world in this category from Spain, Russia, Canada, Netherlands, and Afghanistan. Beautiful pieces. First place goes to Dean McGarren Flack of USA for American Opiate Addiction Overdose Code 23D1. The large oil on aluminum is a contemporary masterpiece. Flack's brush will not be censored. Taking second place in political commentary from Spain is Luiso Garcia for the rain in Damascus. This monochromatic study breaks with exception to use blood red dripping over the boy's soulful eyes onto a face that's a war map. Elena Chernik of Russia takes second place with Temptation of the Soul. A fantastic contemporary piece showing a girl's glee for fashion unaware of the victims of merchandise. American Boston Logan ties for third place, asking good guy or bad guy. The large acrylic is a time capsule for political dispute. Lara Castles from Canada ties for third place with Jessica Ford and Lucrezia Panciatici after Agnola Bronzino. A gorgeous contemporary piece with historical relevance. Roma Casas of Russia ties for fourth place with the main features and structure of the middle class. Important, exciting, upsetting, dangerous, perfectly capturing a universal inequality. Ralph Hainan of the Netherlands ties for fourth place with Lullaby. A powerful but frightening but realistic juxtaposition of a conscious creator and her killing machine. Detlef Goetzens of Canada ties for fifth place with a massacre of the innocents. This large oil collage and charcoal drawing on canvas is a brilliant interpretation of the Rubens painting. From the Netherlands, tying for fifth place is Yvonne Wellman. Her mixed media piece is Since Lysippius People are always and everywhere damaged by lust of power. Bakr Ahmadi of Afghanistan ties for sixth place with a mother kisses her dead child. Simple ink on paper is a profound example of the searing emotion an artist can convey with coarse rudimentary strokes. And also tying for sixth place from the USA is Daniel Um with Media Eats My Knowledge. Riveting contemporary work shows great originality with the metaphor of the brain. Each year, the best galleries and museums in America score online images in 50 categories to decide the best painters, sculptors, photographers, and digital artists in the world. The voting galleries and museums do not get paid. They want to support new artists and often discover new talent. This is of great benefit to our artists. They enter for only $25 a submission and it goes to our administrative costs.